Welcome to Library Life. I'm Amanda Jackson, Director of the Chesapeake Public Library, and with me today is Jennifer Blaylock, Strategic Initiatives Librarian. Welcome. Thank you. So summer, we're in summer, and that can be a very busy, stressful time for parents. It's a relaxing time for our kids, but we worry because the summer slot is real. There's a lot of stuff going on, trying to keep them engaged, and I know our kids just want to gravitate back to those devices. How can we help? So we have a great resource. It's an online resource we offer through our library website. It's called Just for Kids. So I can't use it? Well, you can. Okay. <laughs> um, but I don't know that you'll want to watch the content. Anyway, it's um, PBS videos, so we know they're all educational and they're fun. Um, a lot of things kids will recognize, like Splash and Bubbles, Dinosaur Train, Dr. Seuss, Berenstain Bears, Aww. all kinds of things like that. And there is actually some for the adults too that they might remember, like the electric company. Okay, so we can go back in time. Right. And I can show my kids the stuff I've got going on and I can feel good about what they're watching. Exactly. You know it's safe and it's educational. So if they're gonna have to be on their devices, because it's not ideal, there's ways that the library can make that feel a little bit more comfortable for parents. The Just for Kids, we've also got ABC Mouse. Yes. We have our downloadable books. So we were talking about summer reading earlier and this is a great way to, if the kid's just addicted to that device, maybe we go a compromise. Right. A so little bit of that and... And well, ebooks definitely count towards summer reading, I mean. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got graphic novels on there as well, so mm -hmm. we can, if your kid is really into the visual learning and visual literature, then we can do it that way. Correct. And if they want to learn a new language, we've got transparent languages for kids. We also have our Canopy, which has some great documentaries. So we've got a lot of online resources to help transition that. They're relaxing, but they're also learning at the same time. Right, so everyone should definitely check them out. For instance, just for kids, you don't even need to sign in with your library card. You can just go straight to it through our website. They also have some great um, homework help kind of videos, so math for kids, history for kids, those kind of things. And some of the videos actually offer educator resources, so they might have a lesson plan or an activity sheet for the kids to do after they watch the video that ties into it. Oh, into that's really cool. So you really could do a one for one with that. Like you get to watch, would you call it bubbles? Splash and bubbles. So, well, clearly my kids aren't that age, so <laughs> splash and bubbles. But then we're going to watch like this math video that's still going to be fun because PBS makes everything fun. Correct. They make learning exciting and that's a perfect partnership with the library. And it's all free. It's all free. So you can find more information about this. How? Um, you can go to our website, chesapeakelibrary.org, or you could certainly call any of the libraries if you had questions. Great. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. And if you're looking for something for your kids to do this summer, they're addicted to their devices, but you want to make it fun and educational, check out our Just for Kids on chesapeakelibrary.org. Thank you for being with us today on Library Life. Have a great day.